uh, sunset, we, we don't want certain area, you know, say shade yet and all this. Uh. So from the virtual tour, you already know. Mm, it's Is even it? better. Whereas, uh, uh, in the past, uh, we, 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 we won't know one. Yeah. So interior design, you can choose which kind of uh, uh, design idea. Now, Right? You can click and choose color scheme, whatever, you know, okay? So you can do that. Uh, that is processes. What about loan? Those things, can you remember, you know? Want to apply for property loan, you have to uh, co take compound document, then you give to the banker and then wait. But today, uh, there are a few companies uh, that are supplying. In fact, all the listing platform they have already. Check loan eligibility. Then you just key in your income, your expenses, whatever commitment. Then it will come up whether you're eligible. Then you can buy this. If you're not eligible, then the system will recommend another unit cheaper or more expensive one for you. So all these are called technology. In terms of signing contract, that is the area I'm doing. Uh, actually, uh, what, what I need to tell all of you is that you see, many people ask me, if we e-sign a contract, whether is it legal and valid in Malaysia? Mm. The answer is 100% yes. And Kementerian Perumahan, Kementerian Perumahan KPKT, mm. they themselves are doing ESPA. But it's going to talk two years from now. Not yet. They are doing it, the system. So government are going there and stamping also. We are going to have digital stamp. So your stamping, you cannot go to counter and chop the chop. Cannot it? Correct, correct. Now we are all doing so stamping these are the online. processes. Now, what about management? Mm. Yes. And then, uh, okay, management. Already, I think for a few years, uh, most of the property manager, uh, the uh, management office, they are going online and uh, doing technology already. Right? So you will have all the kiosks where you want to pay whatever payment, management fee, make complaint, everything. Uh, uh, you can do that. Uh, partly also due to the pandemic, there's no, no one working or social distancing. So we are forced to use the kiosk or we are forced to use the app. So with the app, we communicate with them. right? And then uh, everything is just done online for management. Uh, even for tenant management now. There are so many companies supplying uh, software. As an investor, I have units I want to rent. I can park my unit you know, under some management software. They will manage the tenant for me, collect rental, Airbnb management. Mm, I can give my unit you know, to, to some of these platform. They will help me rent Airbnb, uh, renovation. Then I can see calendar for my mobile phone. Then book. Then some find somebody want to come in, no? So, all these are in a mobile phone. Yes. So that is, that is the already happening in Malaysia. Mm, correct. So it is undeniable that, you know, this kind of uh, property technology is useful for the past two years, especially this during this pandemic period, right? Uh, I've never know what is Zoom about. <laughs> I learned how to use Zoom during this period of time. I don't know, like, you know, <laughs> webinar jam and all these kind of things, but I was forced to learn during this period of time. It's a huge revolution during this period, whereby we have to change, keep on changing. And I also see that, you know, this also changed the way that people behave and also the way people spend money. Uh, the last time, we trying so hard to put mm. all the listing on Lazada and Shopee uh, to sell. But then people still wants to have a feeling of that kind of product. <coughs> like, you know, the clothing, is it nice or not? Is it good quality or not? But nowadays, people don't care about that already because you, you are allowed to uh, refund if you are not happy. So yeah. it's so easy for them to make the decision even for property. So as many developers and agents are using virtual showrooms like viewing like what you mentioned, is it acceptable for the public as they have no choice. Uh, but after the pandemic, uh, will the life goes back as usual? Would you think that this idea of virtual showroom will be in the cold storage? Um, 
after the pandemic, after they see already, you know, they, they still want to walk to the <coughs> showroom. Or do you think that all this kind of virtual <coughs> showroom will still go on even after the pandemic? Okay, Vicky, I think this is a very good question. Uh, mm. Because uh, I think it depends on the age group as well of the customer. Many, many sales agents told me, uh, in fact, the customers, uh, they, <coughs> even though they do virtual viewing, but after MCO, they still want to see physical. Mm. Uh, probably that one is for sub sale, uh, secondary market. Because sub sale, you want to buy for own stay, uh, you definitely want to see. Correct. But maybe investment property different, right? Investment, you just have to see virtual and then you look at the figure, calculation, the mm. commercial aspect, I think they can make decision. It's only for those own stay. Now, right. the next question is this, you know, I always argue this point. Uh, uh, what about you buy off plan from developer? Mm. So many salespeople say that, oh, must see the actual unit. But mm. think back, uh, all these years, when we buy from developer, we only see show unit. Correct. We never see actual unit. Mm, true, true. We true. only buy based on catalog. Yes. Right? The catalog, very nice design. We see the show unit, interior design, very nice. We buy. But the actual is, it, maybe it's just partly furnished. Maybe it's bare unit. Mm. And then, like, property partner. By the time deliver, like, hey, how come looks different one? But all of us has been buying based on catalog from the developer. We also never see what, but we buy. So now, if we talk about buying online, uh, like what Vicky you were saying, mm. uh, uh, see like clothes also we can buy, shoes also can buy because of refund. Uh. Mm. So I think house is going to be like that, it, especially big developer. So a big developer, you know the reputation, and then probably there's cooling off period. Mm. After you book, you know, they let you maybe 14 days cooling off. Uh, you know, uh, then if not, they will refund to you. Now, mm. that is for normal people. But what about the next generation of buyer? Mm. Next generation will be those from 18 years old to 25 years old. This group of people, uh, they live in the virtual world 24-7. I, I interview a lot of them. Actually, for, for these people, 50-50, uh, uh, some mm. of them still say that they want to see, but 50% say, no, no, no. I, I see from the computer, is it's like real already. Correct. So yeah. I think slowly, uh, people are going to buy house just based on the internet. You know. That is the future trend, uh, I think. Mm. But also because um, they also say that with this kind of uh, technology coming out, a lot of people will lose their job, okay? Um, so, for example, the agents will lose their job, the lawyer will lose their job, like what you said earlier on. I think, Elizabeth, uh, right now, a lot of lawyers hate you. <laughs> so, they say that, you know, technology will disrupt the market. Um and also, but then on the other mm -hmm. hand of, uh, I hear other agents, another group of agents who say that, you know, it won't disrupt the market because no matter what, um, property is not like buying vegetable, not like, you know, buying clothes and all that. It's not like 10, 20 ringgit kind of things. They need a certain degree of trust involved. If there's no trust involved, um, they probably won't buy it if they don't feel comfortable with it. And with technology, mm -hmm. it cannot replace trust, which I agree in a certain way. So, what what is your opinion on this uh, about prop technology mm. and disrupt the market? Okay, I think this, this point has always been uh, uh, the point of contention uh, mm. between uh, especially uh, our our agent associations and so on. Uh, but but you see, uh, I, I what I want to do is I want to borrow the words of uh, Jack Ma. Mm. Remember when uh, Jack Ma when he first started. Alibaba, then uh, Taobao. Uh, what happened uh, over the, the number of years? He actually disrupted a lot of those uh, offline shop, offline right. retail shop. So they actually curse him. They say that you see now everybody got uh, you know are buying online e-commerce because of Alibaba and Taobao. So I remember Jack Ma. His response was this: 
even though there is no Ma Yun, his Chinese name called Ma Yun, uh, even though there's no Ma Yun, there will be Zhang Yun, Li Yun, Chen Yun. That means even though he did not do it, somebody else will come up with something similar, e-commerce, right? So you look at us today, because of the pandemic, all of us, we are forced to buy everything e-commerce. Mm. I want to move house. None of the shopping mall open. I want to buy curtain also cannot. I want to buy bed sheet also cannot. I have to go online. So every day I am in Shopee, Lazada, Shopee, Lazada, Amazon. So I'm forced to do it. I don't have a choice, you see? Mm. So because I see that this is not about property technology disrupting. Because this is a 